So that was fun. Whoa, whoa. This top stuff's all wispy and that. It'll be a lot of grass, but if you look underneath, it's like matted. It's like spaghetti runners. And that stuff just doesn't, um, doesn't disappear. Oh, it gets worse as you go out. Look at this, it's like so spongy. All right guys, welcome back to another free random acts of mowing. We're gonna mow this today for free. We'll start mowing it anyway. I feel like I've neglected you guys lately, not because I want to. We've just had so much rain here, it hasn't really been feasible to mow these sorts of lawns. I agreed to do this one about six weeks ago, just after uh, my last three-part video. If you really wanna see that video, go and check that out. That was a massive one. Now we're gonna try and take all the grass from this job because there's so much stuff underneath it. Um, I just, I don't think it's gonna be beneficial to slash it and leave it. It would be the easy option, obviously, um, but long-term, I don't think it's gonna help. The, this is Kaikuyu grass, and the last one I did like this that had all those spaghetti runners underneath, I'll show you a bit of vision from it now, was an absolute nightmare. They look terrible when they're finished. Please don't think this is gonna look green. It is gonna be a total brown out, but that's not a problem. This stuff comes back extremely well. Um, you can't get rid of it even if you wanted to. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe because we're doing this every week. We try and do a free one every week, an overgrown massive yard cleaner. Some people find them oddly satisfying to what? And we've got plenty of other avenues too if you want more content on the Facebook channel, the TikTok, the Instagram where I'm virtually posting stuff daily on there. Obviously, there's a few different ways I can do this. I'm gonna try and slash it down first with my Triclone, which is a trimmer head that's got three blades on it. Uh, it's not because it's a promotional thing or anything, they haven't paid me, but what I have noticed with it is it really sort of slices the grass from underneath, and then I might just be able to carry it out in sort of big lumps instead of sort of mulching it up um, and making a mess first. Um, the Skag could come in here and take care of it, but I'm gonna try the triclone first and see if that's a little less messy. There's no sort of one way I wanna do it. I like trying different things in this. So every one of these lawns is different. You know, the grasses are different. The amount of stuff underneath is different. Obstacles are different. Hopefully it's just grass here today. It's probably enough talking. Let's, let's do some work. It's been a long time. Before I start, this is a tool I was talking about. Three blades, let's see how it goes. harness and this thing is very heavy That is underneath, that's all runners. Look at that. That's under all of that lush top layer. Send it with the skag, see what happens. Send it on the highest level. Rake it out, go again. All right, so we're going with plan B, but to get the skag in, I've got to trim all around here because the fence won't open at the moment.
this isn't working. It's getting through that top layer, which I had no, no issue with. As I said, it's leaving these runners, but down there, I'll show you in a second, the, it's still wet, making, sinking, making some ruts there. So I don't think that uh, plan B is gonna work at this stage. We might just have to go back to slashing uh, believing it tomorrow's meant to be sunny, so maybe it'll dry out a bit today and tomorrow meant to be sunny Maybe it'll dry out a bit and then maybe coming back Yeah. <laughs> 
That's gonna be a job for the string. I don't know how it looks on camera, but I'm pretty happy with how that thing's getting through it. It's been good to get some practice on it because I've used it a few times now and I don't think I've done it justice, just my technique or whatever, but sort of playing with it a bit, it's, it's giving me a uh, sort of better understanding of how to use it. I'm still not quite there, but I wouldn't want to be doing it with string personally. I don't know. I don't know what I want to be doing right now. <laughs> Probably not this. <laughs>
Ah, this is tough, getting through it, getting through it slowly. Ah, it's going to be so unsatisfying to leave here today with all this just looking like that. But it's all I can do, unfortunately. I need this stuff to dry out. I need the ground to dry out. I can only do what we can do.
think I'm uh, starting to get the hang of it. Uh, I find if I go sort of horizontal across one way and then sort of tilt it coming back, it seems to be working really well. We've, we've knocked down the bulk of, of that now. Of course, we've left the uh, longest section for last.
Well, there we go, we've knocked over. We've knocked it down. Besides the outsides, I'm gonna go around with the string trimmer now. I didn't wanna hit the metal blade on the fence, obviously. This is gonna be a multi-part video. There's no way I can get all of this done today. I've gotta to wait for this to dry out before I pick it up. Uh, it'll make it easier. Let me know your method, your best method of picking up bulk amounts of grass in these sorts of situations. Because I don't think my method is that efficient. So interested in hearing yours. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the parts. The video's not over yet. But yeah, I don't know, what do you reckon? How do you think the triclone went too? I feel like I'm getting better with it. I feel like it's a good tool if you know how to use it. I feel like I'm sli slowly getting better at it. Don't ask me what we're going to do with these palm fronds yet. Um, I didn't know they were all buried under the grass and that. Palm fronds are a little bit harder to get rid of, so I don't know. That's not something I've got to worry about today anyway.
It's right about now that I wish you guys like watching me mow nice lots. <laughs> Amazing what a difference just going around those edges has made in here. There is a ton of grass here that I'm gonna have to pick up one way or another. I'm gonna wait till it dries out. This is a plan anyway. Um, probably pick up as much as I can, then start ripping into it with the skag. You know, there's a lot of grass to get through, so I'm pretty happy with what I got done. Please make sure you subscribe so you can see part two of this. Um, we've got a lot of work to go. We definitely won't be leaving it like this.